G'day guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Ali, mum to Sophie, who's eight months old. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made a rope storage box. I wanted it to be cheap, I wanted it to be easy, but I wanted it to look really good as well. So today I'm gonna to show you how I created this rope box for Sophie's room. So you're gonna need some rope. I decided on this rope because I really like the pink and white, and it's 30 meters long and eight millimeters thick. A box cutter knife, a hot glue gun and lots of extra glue sticks and a box. I'm using a Baxter box, it's a really sturdy box and I'm just cutting off each flap. As you can see we use these boxes when we moved house. So I'm taking off all the packing tape as well. Then I started hot gluing. I really suggest that you put a movie on that you enjoy because the hot gluing the rope takes a long time. So when you start off you want to make sure that you get it as straight as possible the rope and that it's as tight as possible. So you really want to focus on the foundation and then it'll flow on nicely. So then just keep hot gluing. I decided to hot glue sections. So each side I did about half, then I put the rope down and then I hot glued the next half. And I just kept doing it again and again, round and round the box. I really enjoy doing rope projects. I think the DIYs turn out really well. I was actually really lucky to get this rope on special because I do love a bargain as well. I've done a couple of rope DIYs before. I've done a rope bowl, which is actually my number one video for views at the moment, and a rope coaster. I'll leave a link for those two in the description below because I think they're fantastic gifts and just DIYs for around the house as well. So once I'd used all the rope, I cut off the end at the corner and then I used the hot glue to stop the rope fraying. I got some fabric I like because I wanted to create a liner and then I folded it in half with the pattern facing in the inside and then I measured the box so I measured side and then the next side and then I added five centimeters which is about two inches and then I measured that onto the fabric and cut that length next I measured the height and then I added 15 centimeters which is roughly six inches so it's however much you want the material to lap over the side of your box then I cut that out. So it's really important that you have your material with the pattern on it in the inside facing each other. Then I began hot gluing and I did section by section along the ends at both ends and then you could stop there. However, I decided I wanted a hem on the top so I hot glued the top centimetre or so to create the hem. Then I sat the liner inside the box and you're done. That's all there is to it and I thought it worked really, really well and you would never know that it's a cardboard box. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So guys, was that helpful? Thanks heaps for watching guys. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you're gonna give it a try and where are you gonna use it in your house? Let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, take care, bye.